almost two weeks since 36-year-old Michelle Bernstein Schultz went missing. The mother of two was last seen at her apartment near 40th Street in Greenway. She left her ID and cell phone behind, things her family says she would never leave without. The family is urgently pleading for the public's help. It doesn't seem logical that 13 days into this that no one has seen or heard from her. Someone has to know something, either something that happened to her or they saw her. Someone has to have some information. If you have any information on Michelle, you're asked to call the Phoenix Police Department. Hey, butterflies. Hello, hello. Hey, family. As you see, I am doing a missing person reading on 36-year-old <sighs> missing Phoenix, Phoenix woman, okay, Michelle. L.A. Ella, I'm sorry, Ella Rose Bernstein Schultz. If I said it wrong, I apologize. Okay, but anyway, um, it has here. She's five six feet, two hundred pounds, short black hair. Last seen June the 29th in the area of 40th Street and Greenway Road. Okay, and of course, anyone with information are asked to um, contact Phoenix Police. Uh, concerning her whereabouts, okay, if any of you happen to, you know, um, cross her path or see her, her, all right, so anyway, um, much love to you all, family, I just wanted to put that little information out there, okay, um, whatever you see in here, in this reading concerning Michelle, it is not facts. We know this. It is allegedly, but this is for entertainment purpose only. I'm just doing this as a labor of love, okay? Her family did not ask me to do this reading, but I do know that her sister is desperately, you know, seeking answers of her loved one whereabouts. You know, she wants people to share, 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 you know, um, the flyers and information concerning her sister because we know there's a lot of people that are presently missing. And unfortunately, you know, um, they're not getting, you know, publicity, all right? And their story is not getting out there. Um, that's what my platform is all about. I do all kind of reading. You all know that, you know, entertainment, you know, crime cases in the midst. And so uh, I, this is definitely my passion um, as far as being the voice for the voiceless. So with that being said, family, I thank you all for watching. Um... I don't beg for the likes, but I but I definitely say consider the likes. It's not for me. It's about getting the awareness out there, especially if many of you have Facebook. I really would appreciate it. If I had it, I would definitely do my part sharing, but I don't have Facebook. I'm just here on YouTube. I don't I don't even have Twitter and Snapchat and all of that. I'm, I'm just here on, you know, Facebook. But anyway, family, um, Michelle has been missing since June the 29th. And um, her sister and her family are desperately seeking answers. Now, with that being said, I just happen to be on YouTube, like always, scrolling, and I will come across, you know, different um, <sighs> bloggers, shall I say, sleuths, bloggers, crime bloggers that um, are, you know, putting, uh, you know, people's story out there who are presently missing. So I want to first say shout out to... I want to get this person channel um, right. Hold on one minute. I want to give, give a shout out to their channel. Let me see something. Okay, let me see. Who was the person? I, I took the channel out. It's called Marky Mar. So shout out to Marky Mar. Um, because of them, I came across this story of Michelle, okay? She has a very, very long name. I'm just going to say Michelle. And family, you know, you know, um, I can go anywhere from... 45 to an hour, sometimes a little over, but I don't want to make my readings that long, so I did get a head start, a lot of times I'm doing reading on an individual, I like to get an idea of what I'm looking at, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and share that with many of you, okay, so I, you know, from what I'm seeing here, I'm definitely picking up on, you know, Michelle, as far as her background now, because her background says a lot as far as what led up to her disappearance, 
Now, what came out of this reading, and I use different, I use a good about four, you know, uh, reading decks. Let me just say that, different ones, okay? But anyway, um, what I'm seeing here, she was dealing with depression, okay? I don't know if her family knew this about her. I'm sure they did. But anyway, it looks like she was um, dealing with um, depression, and um, I feel like it was really stemming to her, to as far as what was going on in her personal life. Okay, and um, something was bothering her to where she was dealing with a mental conflict. And that's the one that has the inability to get over something or someone. Okay, you know how like things can bother you and it's hard for you to shake it off, shall I say, shake it off and move forward. Something was bothering her. Okay, something, something definitely jumped off in her personal life that was bothering her and she from what I'm seeing, kind of, you know, start to spiral downward, shall I say, especially due to her actions, how she was moving out here. Let me just say that, okay? Now, family, whatever you see here, none of this is my opinion, you know, um, I'll let me, you be the judge, okay? Uh, I never know who's going to watch. Maybe her family member might come across this right here, and it could be some help. So, I'm going to first start off with the um, Divine Shadow Self Oracle deck, Okay? So shout out to Divine Vision. I'm going to use this Oracle deck first and, and uh, share the um, keyword of the shadow aspect that was going on with Michelle. Okay. So it has here internalizing. This is the one who's taking things in. Okay. They're taking things in. We have here internalizing. We have here withdrawing. We have here deception. And every time there's deception, secrets are, are always in the background due to deception, okay? Whether it's on her end or somebody else's end that's close to her, okay? That's operating in deception. Michelle feeling disrespected, okay? It has here disrespectful. So, according, so Michelle was feeling like someone being very disrespectful to her, okay? It has here antisocial. It has here sabotage. Now, you can say somebody sabotaged Michelle or due to her actions, how she was moving out here, you know, she could have sabotaged herself. And then that's pretty much like self-sabotage, okay? When it comes to thinking negative, fear-based thoughts, okay? Moving in a way to where you're not thinking before you move. You know, some people, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, some, some people, they react instead of stop, think, reflect, okay? That could be a form of sabotage also, but it's pretty much self-sabotage. By limiting to be the judge. Right here, drain, feel emotionally drained. According to the spirit, Michelle was dealing with insecurities. And please know, pay attention to repeated words, repeated messages. It's very important, okay? That's with any reading, but definitely pay attention in this reading, okay? We have here domineering. This is, I, I look at this as a control phrase. Someone is very controlling, okay? That likes to control the narrative or a situation or a person, okay? So this is someone that's very domineering, that's playing the part. We have here gossip. Gossip is showing up. So there's some talking, okay? Um, Somebody's hearing something about somebody. Somebody's been accused of something, okay? Uh, people are talking, the streets are talking, and there is gossip floating around about something or someone. We have here, and now this is in divine order, someone is... Uh, being biased. Okay. Now I'm saying someone, okay? I, I let me I let many of you be the judge here, okay? And we have here ghosting. This is someone that, you know, is not reliable. You know, they say they're gonna show up and they don't show up. Okay. Ghosting is playing a part in this scenario as well. This is leaving someone high and dry and not showing up, not being reliable. 
All right, we're through with this right here. Just remember the words that came out of this reading. All right, family, we're going to move on to the next. Now, <clears throat> I feel like showing this right here real quick. See, you notice what I'm doing. I'm trying to change up the way I do things so my videos won't be so, so, so long. I've, I've already shuffled the deck and laid them out already, okay? And I'm still planning on shuffling more, all right? But I'm seeking clarity just like you, family. So what I was doing, I was setting my tents and I was looking at Michelle, the eyes of the one to our soul. I was setting my tents, I was looking at her, and I pretty much want to know what was going on with this sister and what led up to her disappearance, okay? All right. Now, none of this is in divine order. It has here, love to take all the credit. Is this Michelle? Who is this? Love to take all the credit. It has here. Now, we did see the gossip. Remember that? Look at that. Accusations. A charge or claim that someone has done something illegal or wrong. Or accusations can be something about someone accusing somebody of cheating as well. Let me just say that, okay? It has here the chakra color yellow. You cannot see it. The chakra color yellow it represents control and power. <clears throat> you can say that Michelle was trying to get her power back due to, um, you know, uh, being dominated over. Someone was very controlling around her, uh, trying to control her, but she was trying to get her power back. We have here, no, not being truthful. Somebody is not being truthful. Maybe, you know, Michelle found out that somebody was lying to her, okay? But it has here, no, not being truthful. Somebody's not being truthful about something. It has here, feeling confused. Has a mental disorder that affects mood, thinking, and behavior. So Michelle was feeling confused. Now, this is a big time allegedly. I'm not going to say Michelle does drugs, but this popped up as well. It has here uses illegal drugs. Now, I can also get this right here if someone smokes pot. Okay, I can get this also. Now, this is not Michelle. This could be someone that's close to her. All right. Um, possibly a boyfriend, somebody she's seen. But it has here uses drugs. It has here, in love, romantic feelings or sexually attracted to them. And they are very important to you. Who is this? Who is this? Now, if Michelle was in a relationship and she had a boyfriend, uh, yeah, it would make sense. It would be him, okay? Or maybe somebody was feeling like this about Michelle, okay? Let's keep going. Background, background, history, unlawful act, disobedient and resistance to opposition. Who is this? Who has this kind of background? It has here, avoiding their pain within. And remember, we saw the word internalizing. The need to heal, release, and let go. So obviously, she was experiencing some sort of mental conflict. And not only a mental, but emotionally as well. It, it was hard for her to shake something or someone off, okay? Something was bothering her. It says avoiding their pain within, the need to heal, release, and let go. It looked like she was holding on to something, okay? Something was bothering her. It has here, caution, stop, and think, okay? Not react, but stop and think. On the wrong path due to negative thinking in your actions. Now, this right here is leading up to before she went missing, family, okay? It has here, ignorance, do not listen. It has here, the chakra color green it represents love and healing. So, this is playing the factor also. And we did see accusations, didn't we? Look at this. Clueless. They are being cheated on. Clueless. They are being cheated on. Now, I think Michelle had a boyfriend, okay? 
Now, if she has a boyfriend, was her boyfriend allegedly cheating on her or was she cheating on him? Somebody was cheating. Please know that. Okay? Somebody was seeing somebody else. It has here overcoming challenges. It has here, you're happy. Talking about Michelle now. You're happy. And remember, there are timelines to my readings, okay? And this particular timeline, you're happy, but someone close to you is not happy for you. They're jealous of you and resentful. And it has here, trapped in fear, held hostage, taken by force, unable to escape. It has here, avoid responsibility. It has here, the wide path, not making wise choices on the path of destruction. It has here, the chakra color blue. It represents communication, speaking up, speaking out, and truth telling. This would be pretty much Michelle communicating with someone, all right? And out of that communication, there's some truth telling coming out of it. Uh, let's just say she's having an aha moment and um, a lot of truth is being revealed, okay? Uh, someone is, let me just say this, out of this communication, someone is finding out um, that they were in the dark about something. Let me just say that, okay? This is someone who's speaking up and speaking out, okay? And it has here, moving forward, not looking back. And this could be, this could have been her intentions before she went missing, all right? Because something was bothering her. She had a little setback, dealing with challenges, as well as a mental conflict. And right here, you know, it's like she was in a way of looking, uh, moving forward and not looking back, okay? Now, that's interesting. That's very interesting. But still, self-sabotage is still popping up. I'm picking up on about self-sabotage because they can also be not so much of um, self-sabotage in a way of, you know, you're sacrificing and you're putting other needs before you. Uh, but it also can um, be from the perspective of, you know, you're hurting yourself due to your actions, your negative thinking and, you know, your fear-based thoughts. And, you know, um, you find up, you, you end up finding yourself in a situation due to, you know, you reacting. Okay. That's all I'm going to say when it comes to that. Because I'm picking up on something like that too. As far as what led up to her disappearance. And I'm not blaming Michelle at all now. I want nobody trying to come for your sister. I'm not blaming her. But, you know, I am picking up on, you know, mental conflict here. All right? Uh, this sister was, uh, I'm picking up, she was depressed. Okay? And she could have been coming out of it, but she was still experiencing, you know, um, depression. It has here, emotionally unbalanced, has depression, signs of bipolar. It has here, they will be a good match if you go for it. Now, I don't know what this is meaning unless, you know, somebody else had crossed her path that she was interested in, okay? It has here, the waiting game. This one who has a decision to make. The waiting game, waiting on some news or to hear from someone. News on hold. And remember, we saw the word ghosting. So it looked like she was waiting to hear some news. Some news was on hold. It has here, they don't see nor value you. Nope. The same way as you value them. Now, this is was in a relationship. Obviously, that relationship wasn't all that intact, shall I say, okay? It looked like the foundation of that relationship was kind of weak for whatever reason, okay? For whatever reason. It has here, personality disorder, sometimes agitated, depression, and anxiety. And I'm showing me to do all these cards so you can take things in and from your, if I use your intuitiveness, all right, um, you may get an idea of what was going on with this sister, okay? But I see right now she was being bothered due to some cheating or accusation rumor going on, okay, in her relationship. It has here, this person cannot be trusted. It has here a spy. Watch your words 
what you say around them, keep them at a distance, okay? Who could this be? Maybe a fake friend, allegedly. It's somebody. All right. Um, let me see something. I'm going to set this to the side. And we're going to continue. I have different decks here. Excuse me. Now, this right here, it has here, has a mental conflict, unbalanced. And as, as I stated, that's the one who has the inability to get over something or someone. Okay? That's what she was dealing with. She had a lot on her mind. It has here, they are seeing someone else. Is this Michelle that was seeing somebody else? Or is this her boyfriend that was seeing somebody else, allegedly? It has here, they are willing to change and move forward with you. This is somebody. Is it Michelle that's willing to change and move forward with her boyfriend? Or her boyfriend was willing to change and move forward with her? It has here, not the right time to move forward. Not the right time. So, if this is being Michelle, okay? If, if, especially if she's thinking about breaking things off with her boyfriend, okay? As far as up here, thinking about things. Due to, allegedly, if there was some, you know, um, you know, cheating that's going on, all right? Um, it has here the spirit is saying not the right time for her to move forward. It says not the right time to move forward. Not the right time. So we know it's it's a time for everything in the season, okay? And it has here suffering and silence. And remember, she was internalizing, taking a lot of things in that was going on with her in her personal life, okay? And suffering and silence is someone who's smiling, they're talking, they're going through something, but they're not sharing it with you. They're keeping it to themselves, and inside they're dying, and they're suffering, you know, feeling some type of way on the inside. But they're not releasing it. They're not sharing it with anyone. It has here, walk away. It has here, in solitude alone. Now, I can look at this and say, well, it's a good chance Michelle could be alive. Maybe she she just needs some time, you know, to cool off, you know, think things through. She's in solitude, wherever solitude is for her, okay? She's alone in solitude because when I look at this, that's what I'm getting, okay? That she, you know, allegedly is still alive and she's alone in solitude. She don't want to be bothered, you know? She's just feeling withdrawn, okay? But... There are other things that are in this reading. It's kind of alarming to me, okay? Only time will tell if she's still alive, okay? I really don't want to go there. I am not the spirit do the talking. It has here, lack self-love. And we did see the word insecurities, okay? Feelings of insecurities. It has here... Respect loyalty. Now, what I'm picking up right here, this is Michelle. This is what she wants. She wants respect and she wants loyalty. This speaks volume. Okay? This speaks volume. What is probably what was bothering her. This is what she wanted. But obviously, she wasn't getting it in that relationship, allegedly. Something was lacking in that relationship that she was in. And we know no relationship is perfect. Okay? But something was lacking. That, that was bothering her big time. It has here, my power and control back. Remember we saw power and control? So, and we also saw the word domineering. Remember that? Now, allegedly, her boyfriend could have been a control freak. Allegedly. But she wanted her power back. It says, my power and control back. It doesn't say, I want, but yeah. It looks like she's like she trying to get her power control back also. Now, let's continue, family. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. I think they... I don't know if Michelle was driving or she happened to be... Or she happened to be walking, okay? um, In the area they said she was last seen. But it has here, away from travel, hold on, I'm sorry, away from area that she was last spotted, 
away from area, travel on the go. Okay? So, that can be walking. She could have been driving. Or she could have been in a vehicle with somebody. It has here, away from the area she was last seen. Away from area, travel on the go. Okay? Hold on, family. None of this is in the buying order, okay? And this is this is interesting too. Um, hold up, family. I want to share something first. Hold up. None of this is in the buying order. I just want to share something. It has here encountered a stranger. Okay. It says, encountered a stranger, unexpected, very hostile. I thought that was interesting also. Allegedly, encountered a stranger, very, I'm sorry, encountered a stranger, unexpectedly, very hostile. And something about accepting a offer, somebody had presented a offer to her, okay, whatever this means, accepting a offer. Let me show you what I have, okay? It has here, this is allegedly now, it has here, the stranger physically attacked and assaulted victim. Allegedly. It has here, this is a suspect, they saying, I want, I have. It's something that they wanted. They said, I want and I have. And we did see the hell hostage card. That's the one that took it against their will. They are in a situation or a environment they don't want to be in and they want out. Okay. Now, this is interesting. It has here rejected. This is when we're feeling rejected. Turn down, refuse, decline, not accepting or believing something or someone's idea. Now, some of this, it doesn't make sense to me, but I'm going to share it anyway. Um, Some of this I don't want to share. Right? It, it, it's really going there. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I, I really, you know, um, I really, um, well, let me just continue. Now, this came out. I put it back in the deck. And normally I don't do that. I reshuffle and it came right back out. I don't know what this means. It says, Dad knows more to the story. Okay, this says dad knows more to the story. The only thing I can think of, family, is that, you know, due to the things that I was speaking on, you know, if her father is still, still alive, maybe she talked to him about what was going on with her. Okay, um, now if she has children, if she has children, I would get this, and that would be her children's father saying dad knows, okay, um, knows something. But um, I don't know what this means. It's a dad knows more to the story, all right? So, But I'm just sharing it, okay? I have family members that be watching, somebody, a friend could be watching, and they would know what a lot of this means, okay? Um, it has here, someone knows will not speak out due to fear. Now, a lot of these messages are all over the place, family. When I'm seeking those things in the dark to bring them out to the marvelous light, I never know what the Spirit's going to reveal to me. And a lot of this may not even have anything to do with her disappearance, but it's confirmation for somebody who knows her. They will know what the Spirit is saying, okay? So keep that in mind. Because some of these right here are going to throw many of you off. Now, they, they definitely threw me off. But I look at it this way. A lot of this message is for somebody who happens to be watching, and they will know what it means, okay? It has here, in the closet, don't want to be exposed. And it doesn't have to pertain to sexually in the closet. It could just be due to what somebody uh, doing in the background, okay? Maybe how they make their living, how they, you know, how they make their money. Um, 
it just pretty much what this means. It, it, it can be, it can mean like living a double life, you know, doing secret things. Okay. But anyway, it says in the closet, don't want to be exposed. And I'm not saying this is Michelle. It, it came out in the reading. Okay. Whatever this means. And it has here, it has a mental conflict. It has here, selfish choices, being a fool, bad moves. And this is someone who made bad choices, okay? It's a selfish choice. And all this can also pertain to self-sacrifice doing, you know, due to how you're moving out here. You're not stopping thinking at all. Remember, saw the ignorance card? It's not an ignorance card. It's a selfish choice, being a fool, bad moves. And we also saw the uh, the path of the wide path. That's a path of distraction. You know, you're not thinking, you know, uh, you, you're not uh, paying attention to your surroundings, okay? Um, I'll show this last. It has here. The need to compromise, not seeing things clearly, not seeing eye to eye due to disagreements. It has here, ask the question, and it has here a situation with a question mark. Why is money involved? Or well, something about money. It has here, caught in the middle of others' beef and drama. It has here, sexually assaulted, abuse, assault, and molested. And maybe this could be something stemmed from the past. I'm not sure. Okay. But I share certain information so somebody knows her. They, they know what that means, okay? They know the spirit is talking. But all of this is allegedly, all right? It has here. Was not a accident drowning cover up more to the story. Now, I'm not saying she's in water and she's drowned. I mean, the spirit is talking, okay? Sometimes the word drowning can be like drowning your emotions, okay? Feeling overwhelmed, okay? The key word drowning. But we did see the word feeling drained as well, drained. But anyway, I'm just sharing with, you know, what I have. Now, we did see the word stranger. Please know, people do it all the time. They can have a motive. And their hands are clean and they can get someone to do them a favor and take somebody out. Their hands are clean. They can have a motive and they can pay somebody off to take somebody out. I just wanted to say that, okay? <clears throat> betrayal. Anytime I see the word betrayal, a lot of times that's linked to due to somebody that you know, okay? But anyway... Betrayal, the actions of betraying person or group it has a treachery. Okay, I'm not getting a strong hit on that one. It has here, suspect knows someone. Now, remember, we did see stranger, okay? That's somebody that she doesn't know. But that person that she doesn't know knows somebody that she does know, okay? So it's like, it's like you know, connect the dots. Suspect knows someone whom the victim crossed path with or on the job.
and this just says nightmare. It just says flashback nightmares impaired impaired sleeping. So somebody's feeling guilty. Somebody's having nightmares due to this sister disappearance. Okay, they've been a lot of tossing and turning. I don't know what this means, but it came out, okay? It's a suitcase. I don't know what this means, okay? I mean, I know what it means, but I'm just sharing it, all right? Maybe it's something in a suitcase that have information in it. You know, I, I'm, I'm not sure yet what this is about, okay? It's a suitcase. Now, this did come out, family. The only word that stands out to me is sacrifice. See that? Sacrifice. And sometimes the key words would also be in a full message. All right? I'm just going to share it. It says religious sacrifice. Kill due to ritual practice of cults, serial killing, gifts to divinities, shed of blood. Okay? But what stands out to me more than anything is sacrifice. Okay? Now, this came out also, the last card. It says, now, I actually, it's a positive message. It just depends on, you know, how you look at it. Now, if she's alive and she's somewhat content, let me just say that, okay? So, when we bother nobody, you know, she, she just want to be isolated and alone, okay? She got a peace of mind. If that's the case, this card says, where I am, I'm happy and content, okay? Now, I would love for this to be the case. But if not, if she's deceased for whatever reason, she is still saying, where I am, I'm happy and content. Okay? I just want to share that. All right, family. I'm getting ready to um, continue with this reading. I want to um I'm gonna get out another sets of cards. I'm doing pretty good. See how I'm at 37? I'm at 37 minute mark. That's pretty good. All right, I do have additional cards that I want to use. Family, give me a minute. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Let me see something. I'm going to use just that. Now, remember, everything that came out, okay? What I do, I try to look for repeated messages, okay? I'm trying to st stay up under an hour at least. All right. Divine Spirit, Love, and Truth, and Light. This is one of my little um, crime decks. It's called Their Present Situation Revealed Deck, okay? Divine Spirit, Love, and Truth, and Light. Divine Spirit, Love, and Truth. Seeking clarity about the disappearance of Michelle, who disappeared on June... The 29th. Tell your story, Michelle. What up to your disappearance? Seeking clarity. Additional clues to your disappearance. Divine spirit, love and truth and light. Seeking additional information. What up to Michelle's disappearance? Seeking clarity. Oh, my goodness. Oh, about to slide out, family. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not using all of these. Hold on. If they're meant to come back out, they will. You know what? We did see the word opportunity, didn't we, family? We saw the word, go back, just rewind a little bit. We saw the word, something about an uh, offer. Somebody uh, had presented an offer to her. And this could be the, the individual that's a stranger, okay? Look at this right here. You see that? Something about an opportunity. Help secure their future new opportunity you see that but we also saw rejection it looked like somebody was trying to present an offer to her okay and maybe she had rejected the offer but i thought that was very interesting right there it looked like to me it's more to the story if you know what i mean okay 
Now I'm going to share this, okay? Because when things come back, come out for a reason. It has your online auction, okay? So I'm definitely praying that she uh, didn't count somebody that could have sold her. Cause she did have an aha moment to where, you know. Let me just continue. All right. Remember the control card? Remember the control card we saw? Power and control. Look at that. Compete for control. Power struggle. See that? Now, if a lot of this was not going on in her personal life, as far as in her relationship with her current boyfriend, when she encountered a stranger, okay, whoever the stranger was, okay, it could be pertaining to that individual, all right? It says compete for a control power struggle. Why that bitch be the judge? Let's continue. My spirit, who encouraged the disappearance of oh, Michelle? He shed light on his darkness surrounding the disappearance of Michelle. He disappeared on June the 29th. My face can clear to disappear from Michelle. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, fam. The one fell on the floor. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. See, she had a decision to make. Someone had presented her an offer. Look at this right here. Instead of her taking time to stop, think. And I'm thinking that she may could have rejected the offer. But anyway. Something definitely jumped off. It says making a decision due to being emotionally or in desperation, feeling rushed or pressured. See that? Feeling rushed or pressured. It has here. I'm not happy. I want a way out. Patient and planning. Hmm, interesting. That's interesting. I'm not happy. I want a way out. Patient and planning. That's interesting. And we did see the suitcase, didn't we? Hmm. Well, I, you know what? I don't know if Michelle has, has a car or not. I want to know how she traveled. When she's traveling on foot. And somebody picked her up, or did she thumb a ride? See that I don't know. That's interesting. Okay, okay. I, I hate seeing this family, and when this comes out, it may be been watching my my readings now. When this comes out right here, um, I don't know what to say. It says though it says question those in power who turns a blind eye. Now, with that being said, family, I, don't, I can care less how the sister was making her money, okay? How she make her money is her business. Um, I don't wish anything, no harm on nobody. Let me just say that. Now, let me say this real quick. When I get this right here, this says, question those in power who turn to blind eye. This is talking about the authority officials. Now, this has been missing since uh, June the 29th, okay? Now, with that being said, said a lot of times when I get this right here you know the case dragged the authorities are not really it's like they put her case on a back burner if you know what I mean they're not really they can tell the family that they're actively you know searching but not really so there's something going on you know maybe with the head you know um cop or whatever allegedly but they're not putting you know the necessary uh, manpower as far as looking for her in the ways that matter. And even if they do find her family, you know, they still turn a blind eye for whatever reason. They can turn a blind eye for whatever reason. And it's like the family won't get the justice that they are seeking 
that they so desire concerning Michelle, okay? Uh, I am praying that Michelle will be found, but when I see this right here, this is not a positive omen at all. This is not a positive omen at all. And many of you know when this comes out, you know what I'm talking about. Those cases drag, and sometimes they can end up being a cold case. But you know what? This is a big time allegedly. We're going to hope for the best. But this is not good at all. Okay? Especially if, if the family is not getting any kind of answers. All right? So, that's all I got to say. Bound. Tied up, wrapped up, joined. Well, anyway, it's just saying bound and tied up, okay? Allegedly. Woman. Concealed feelings and intentions not being honest. And we did see the word no not being truthful. So it looked like it was a lot going on with Michelle. Look at that. Was playing. You see that? I can't make this up. Was playing. This was staged false timelines or events. Interesting. If this is the case, you can't mean you can't really go by. What the authority, I mean, you can't even really go back with the, what the media is saying. Not really, because, you know, who's telling who's telling the, the media, uh, uh, you know, uh, as far as um, the timelines of the events, as far as when she went missing? I mean, who's saying what? As far as what? When she left home and, you know, she was last seen at this particular location. I mean, I mean. Something is all somewhere, okay? And I'm not accusing nobody of anything, but it has here what's playing. This was staged, false timelines or events. So Michelle probably what didn't even go, she probably didn't even go missing on the 29th. I'm just saying allegedly. So something is off. Is that what this what this means? Something is off. Or, or somebody's giving a wrong um timeline or, or a wrong stage of events due to the last day she went missing. But anyway, it has here explosive, heated fight argument. <sighs> See, something something pertaining to illegal groups. And this could be anything. This could be trafficking. This could be drug, like a, a drug dealer group, if you know what I mean. Drug dealer groups. Um is anything pertaining to being secretive, secret groups, okay? Even cults, even that also, okay? It has here illegal groups, a part of unlawful secret, secretive group. And then we see also, <laughs> Michelle is saying, I'm not happy. I want a way out. Planning. Patient and planning. What, what was going on with the sister behind the scene? What, what was she into? Just saying. But see, it, um, it, it's, a, it's a lot going on here. And a lot of it may not even have anything to do with why she went missing, but the spirit be, be peeling those layers of those shadow aspects above. The spirit be peeling those layers big time. All right, let's continue. But you can imagine she was a part of something and she went out, you know, uh, somebody could have got somebody to still, you know, um, get a hope to her, if you know what I mean. Because remember, we saw the word about somebody want to be exposed. See, I, I keep getting stuff like this, poor judgment. Okay, and we did see the card with the message say ignorance, you know, don't listen. Poor judgment, not using intuition, not thinking clearly, poor actions. And I'm not blaming Michelle, but due to, you know, not using good judgment and poor actions. Okay.
Okay, this says, I want pleasure, happiness, joy, contentment, and growth. As you see, family, I go hard, you know, because I tell you, I was just on nobody. I was just on nobody. But this is my way of trying to give the family clarity. You know, at least, at least they can, I mean, look, when it, when it comes to these readings, uh, the family, if they just, if they choose to watch somebody like me or others, okay, with a different spirit, they'll get more insight about what's going on with their loved one than they will from the authorities. Because the authorities hold on the information. Especially if, you, if you're looking at corruption, uh, the authority will keep them in the dark. Please know that. Attach to the current structure of power, fame, and money. So something about money, okay? It has here judgment. Reflect and evaluate ourselves and our actions now to grow. So this is speaking about Michelle, okay? Thank you for clear on disappearance of Michelle. She the light in darkness due to her disappearance. Thank you. Thank you for clear on disappearance of Michelle. She the light in the darkness. All right, right here, this popped up. It says distorted masculine. A distorted masculine is unwilling, unwillingness, unwillingness. I got tongue twisted. Unwillingness to trust, ignore emotions and intuition. Wanting proof of everything. Remember, that's a control freak. Afraid to feel emotions due to appearing weak. And what stands out to me is, um unwillingness to trust and ignore emotion that means ignoring her feelings okay and intuition wanting proof of everything okay but anyway that, this could be her boyfriend Just fell all over the place. I hope not, family. I really hope not. Okay. This is allegedly kills for sport. They love the hunt. And we did see the word killer. Okay. Well, no, we saw the word uh, stranger. Okay, um, I'm going to use one more debt and I'm going to end this reading. Wow. I just shared the information. You know, it is for many of you to put the pieces together like a puzzle. But um, at the end of the day, you know, the spirit is saying, you know, the spirit is letting us know that Michelle was, had a lot going on with her, all right, emotionally as well as mentally. And she had a mental conflict as well as she was depressed. And it looked like she wanted a way out of the situation. And um, also, she wasn't using good judgment either, okay? She was not using good judgment. That played a part as well. I'm going to use one more deck and I'm going to end this reading. Thank you, family, for being um, patient. Appreciate you. I'm going to use this deck and I'm going to end the reading, okay? As you see, you're supposed to have more than one. I'm going to uh, shuffle three times and split it. Divine Spirit, and clarity on the disappearance of Michelle. Thanks. 
Spirit. I see shed light in this darkness concerning disappearance of Michelle. So that's Michelle's disappearance. Sometimes these cards will flip on the other side. When they do, I will acknowledge them. Okay, that flipped up, that flipped, and that flipped. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, now the way they're talking, like you know, Michelle would happen to be you know, outside uh, on this particular block as far as the last time she was uh, last seen. Okay, um, anyway, it has here help me on the go, so there's some traveling involved. Okay. On the go, feeling helpless. See that? Feeling helpless. Help me on the go, feeling helpless. It has here rape, allegedly, rape. It has here, now this is pertaining to groups, okay? Secret groups, whatever these secret groups are, okay? It has here taking oath in secret of allegiance, gang, group, promise of loyalty, person. So somebody is a part of a group, okay? Some secret group. That's all I'm going to say. Is it Michelle? Is it her boyfriend? Somebody's a part of a secret group, okay? All I know is I saw the, the message that said I want out. And also, we saw the message to where it uh, spoke about exposing somebody also. But anyway. Did not run away from home. Scammer. Dishonest person. Commits fraud and scheme. Something about lunch. So it could have been around lunchtime that uh, Michelle, you know, disappeared. And it's showing an individual. It could be a male or a female that's fit and lean. Okay, so somebody is, is definitely fit and lean. Okay, they're not heavy set at all. That's playing a part in this as well. Okay, I'm not getting a strong hit on this one, okay? They have on here, thank you. You welcome, love. <laughs> also, the thank you can let us know she had received the offer. Like somebody's giving her something or presenting an offer to her and she's saying thank you. See that? Was it a ride? Did she get in the car with somebody? Did she get in the car with a stranger? It has here electronics. According to the spirit, check her electronics. But you know what? I think they said her phone was left at home. I forgot all about that. I think her phone was left at home, family. Electronics, check their computers, contact social media accounts. So something would be on there. Um, but if her phone is at home, mm, that's all I got to say. Mm. Especially if she live with her boyfriend. Cause I, cause I know he done went through that phone already. But anyway, let's 
I'm not saying that he's guilty. I'm just saying. I know he went to that phone already. All I know is, okay, right here, is this a car or SUV? I don't know, but somebody's driving. Now, it doesn't have to be this color family, but somebody was driving a vehicle. I think this is an SUV. Or it can be a car. I think it's an SUV family. I think you be the judge. It look, it look like an SUV, doesn't it? But somebody was driving a vehicle. Okay, either Michelle was driving a vehicle or somebody was driving a vehicle. Um, I don't know. This might be an issue. B. It has here, follow the money trail. Make you wonder with Michelle Huffman. And I don't mean selling of the body. You know, a person can hustle for all kinds of reasons. Okay, I'm going to use the other side. I'm going to end this reading. Oh, this is... Mm. If I didn't care, family, I would not go to extra mile. I did not care. Ah, oh, this a shed. Okay, it could be some type of building. It says trapped in fear, scared to take action or can't. Scared to take action or can't. This says perfect scam. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, um, Michelle is trying to scam anybody. It could be somebody trying to scam her due to the so-called offer, okay? Okay, I'm not getting a strong hit on that one. If it come back out, I, I will acknowledge it. I wasn't getting a strong hit on it. Anything else you want to make the same thing for Michelle? Anything else you want to make the same thing for Michelle? Allegedly set on fire, body or or evidence. Okay. It is pretty much somebody trying to hide information, trying to burn it. I don't know why this came out. This could be Michelle background or her boyfriend or somebody. It's a very artistic, creative of arts, music background. It's like the, it's like the spirit trying to tell you a story, you know. Spirit saying she's by herself. She's alone. Now she could be alone alive or alone deceased family. I'm going to um where we at? Just okay. Well, just a little over an hour. I'm gonna use one more deck and I'm gonna end this reading. And um
I'm just going to see something. Family, I just hope for the best, okay? Uh, I'm pretty much done all that I can do. I mean, I have additional tarot decks. I mean, different uh, oracle decks. But I can't use all of them, okay? Divine spirits and clarity of disappearance. Oh, uh, Michelle. Well, up to Michelle, disappearance. Divine spirit, love and truth and light. Well, up to it. Thank you, Spirit. I feel like <clears throat> yeah. I keep it to myself. All right, then we're going to go ahead and end this. Now, this is in divine order. You saw me shuffle. Okay, you saw what came out of it. And I do read these um, messages upside down. This is the temptation card, okay? It looked like Michelle was tempted, okay? It looked like she, looked like she was tempted because we did see something about receiving the offer, okay? This is the one who's experiencing temptation. Um, as well as there's some secrets surrounding this as well, okay? Uh-oh. If I drop another card, I'm going to scream, family. I'm going to scream if I drop another card. Now, a certain card I'm going to read up on, because many of you are new, okay? And these messages have, uh, these cards have additional message to them. Oh, boy. Through this card, addiction and self-limited behaviors are being addressed. This is a time when you or someone else In your life may be placing too much emphasis on the material, physical world and its pleasure. Even though as we're born connected to the divine source, we have a tendency to pull away from what was once natural. When we become disconnected from spirit, the source that once nourished us is often replaced with a different supply of substitute. In other words, the connection is being forged with food, alcohol, nicotine, codependency to someone or even work. And these are speaking about addictions, okay? Hence the term workaholic. Many of us spend our lives trying to fill the void that was once created when the link of the divine was broken. The temptation card is calling you to take a hard look at life and ask yourself, where in my life am I suffering from addictive behavior? Is there negative thinking or behavior that's causing the life force to seep out of my soul? Are the people and relationships in my life giving me energy or draining it learn to embrace your fears and all of the, your doubts so that every situation in your life becomes a learning experience gaining the knowledge of that physical world teaches will help you transcend to a higher spiritual awareness so yes temptation is playing a part okay 
in this situation. This is the next card is upside down family. This is obstacles and challenges. This is one who's experiencing, uh, this is one who's um, experiencing um, definitely some challenges, okay? Because we know this already, all right? But upside down is power struggle as well, okay? Upside down, speak about, <clears throat> well, not only challenges, but power struggle as well. Hold on, family. This to hold up me trying to find the freaking card. Hold on. Because all of these have additional meanings, so I definitely want many of you to receive clarity. This card represents the obstacle, power, struggle, and challenges that you must face in order to overcome them. This could be a difficult period to get through, but it's not impossible. If you open your mind and see the bigger picture of how something went wrong, don't get caught up in it. Just pause. Stand back for clarity. Observe where adjustments are required or which decisions may need to be changed to enable you to move forward in a positive direction. Life really is all about learning. Don't play the victim. Take the knowledge you gain from this experience so that you can apply it to similar situations in the future. This card comes forth when competition is around you. Remember, competition. Whether it's in your personal or business life, this is an excellent time to think creatively and ask yourself, how can I make myself shine above all the rest? This is the next call. I don't have to read up on it. It's upside down. Pertaining to Michelle disappearance. Um, this is positive movement forward, family. According to the spirit, there would be no positive movement forward. Okay? So even they find her, I'm just saying... Um, it may not be a, a positive outcome, okay? Or it end up being cold case. Or they can find her, allegedly, if she's deceased and they want a suspect. This is the next card. It is upside down. This is triumph and success. According to your spirit, there would be no triumph and success in this matter. This is the next card. This is the authority card. Okay, this one is carrying themselves with wisdom. With um, hold on, let me get my thoughts right. This is the one that has authority background. Let me just say that, okay? This individual has authority background. Um, also it can be a, a parent, okay? It could be a a, a, a cop. All right, security, uh, a doctor, you name it. Okay, a prominent person, um, even leadership. Okay, uh, this is upside down. So the way I see it, the way I see it, the spirit is letting us know as far as the individual does not have authority um, background. Okay, they do not possess authority background, and I describe to you what authority means as far as the background, as far as um, who could be involved. They don't have authority background, like a cop, you know, uh, security and all of that. This is interesting. Um, this right here says harmony. This is a couple, okay? I thought this was very interesting for this to pop up. And this could have been what was on Michelle's mind, or you can say this is plays a big part as far as why she disappeared. Um, this is a couple. There's harmony in this union. Before Michelle disappeared, there was lack of harmony in that relationship. Okay, for whatever reason, there was lack of harmony in that relationship. Some sort of disconnection that was going on between those two. Right here, this is financial and material changes. And it also speaks from the perspective of um, change and challenges. Out of the challenges, the change that comes out of it, okay? Upward is gain, upside down is losses. So, um, the way I see it, it looks like, um, now I don't know if Michelle money was funny because uh, we did see the money card pop up. I don't know if Michelle money was funny, but it looks, it says here financial and material changes. So she could have been, you know, seeking some changes in her finance, in her finances, okay? Um, seeking some sort of a gain, okay? As far as trying to change her um, life, 
um, seeking security, all right? Because this represents gain right here, okay? And maybe that's what that word offer uh, popped up. So, someone was trying to present an offer, but it was some sort of scam. Right here, this is upside down. This is the hot shopper card. It represents I love. Hers is saying I don't love. It's like she's saying I don't love something or I don't love someone, okay? But this is saying I don't love. I don't love something or I don't love someone. It has here, this is upside down. This is material and spiritual prosperity. This is someone who has both, okay? Michelle card is upside down. So it's like the spirit is saying lacking in material prosperity or spiritual prosperity. It can be both or one of them, okay? But this is someone that's um, experiencing some, um, they're lacking in one of these areas. Let me just say that, okay? Or both. Either their money is funny. Cause when I think about when I think about the word for instance, when I think about the word balance, I think mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Okay. But it says material and spiritual prosperity. Upward is gain, upside down is losses. Mm. Oh, but hold on, family. Cause it has additional meaning. I'm curious myself. Hold on. I'm trying to see what the spirit is saying pertaining to her situation. The number six physical card represents a peace, tranquil time when problems seem to actually disappear. Okay. So, when it's upward, it represents someone that's in a state of peace. Their problems have disappeared. They pretty much, that which they are, that which they have desired, you know, they have manifested, okay? Everything is everything. You know, they have everything that they need, all right? It says a sudden bonus pay raise or even a promotion could be in the offering. It could be expected or arrived out of the blue. This card may also signify a group that has worked and strived towards success and a common goal. But hers is upside down. A time of prosperity, balance, and harmony in your physical world. So, but this card being upside down represents the opposite of harmony and prosperity and balance in one's physical world, okay? In their spiritual um, existence. So anyway... Upside down is just pretty much the opposite of gain, okay? Um, something happened to where, you know, um, they was not experiencing harmony and peace, okay? And um, even when it comes to, you know, um, their finances, okay, they were lacking. Right here, this is upside down. It says choose wisely, okay? This is one who has a decision to make and they have options and they are choosing wisely. Well, we know, the Spirit already said that she was not using good judgment, okay? Being foolish. So, um, out of the choices that she had to make, she was not choosing wisely, okay? Because she had many directions that she could have went, okay? But out of the choices that she made, okay, she did not choose wisely. It has here, this is the moving on card. This one who has a decision to make, and they were thinking about moving on, and they did. Now, you can say that she moved on, she got missing, and she's alone somewhere, or spiritually, she moved on. She's no longer with us, okay? This is the next card. It has here victory and success, and actually, this is a positive omen. Um, the only thing I can think of, family, is that she will be found, okay, in the Most High God Divine's timing. Um... That's what I'm getting out of this. She will be found in the Most High God Divine's timing. I'm just praying that they will get to her on time, that she will be found on time before, before the unthinkable happen. because there are timelines to my reading. Please know that, okay? But this is a positive omen. 
And I'm going to look at this as though she will be found in God's divine timing, okay? Right here, this is the chakra color. This is the chakra. Oh, I'm, you can tell I'm getting tired. I'm, I'm just tongue twisted all over the place. This is the crown chakra card. It represents I know, okay? So according to the spirit, um, Michelle was operating in awareness, okay? She's saying I know. She pretty much see what's going on around her. She's not. It's not like she was blind, okay? It's not like somebody, you know, uh, uh, put their hands over her eyes and they grabbed her. You know, she's aware of her surroundings, okay? She's saying I know. Okay? Or she's saying, I know about something. Okay? I remember the communication card, the truth telling someone, someone speaking up and speaking out. She's saying, I know something. Right here, this is a trap and fear card. Allegedly, Michelle could have been taken against her will, and she's trapped in fear. Um, she's in a environment or in a location that um, she wants out of. Okay? Now, if that's not the case, it can be a mental trap in fear, okay? And due to her thinking, she feels like it's hard for her to get out of a situation due to her thinking, okay? Which really, she can get out of it, all right? I'm, I'm going to say it like this. It's either a physical trap in fear, held against her will, or it could be a mental trap in fear, you know, of her thinking of ways to get out of a situation. Let me just say that, okay? Whether it be a relationship or just a situation, period, all right? But she could be physically, you know, held held hostage or, you know, in a location she can't get out, all right? Right here, this says the waiting game. It's someone who has a decision to make, and time is ticking, okay? Right here, this card is upside down. This is the universal card. It represents completion and fulfillment. Now, her card is upside down, so it represents a lack of completion and fulfillment, okay? Whatever that means to Michelle. Whew, I tell you, this video was a doozy. I ain't telling no lie. I'm starting to feel energetically drained, and that's not good. But I can easily plant my feet and go outside, family, and get grounded. Um... All I know is this has been missing since the 29th family. And according to her family, you know, it's not like her to just, I think she has a sister that's looking for her. It's not like for her to just, you know, walk away from her family like that. I don't even know she has any children. And if she has children, you know, definitely, I, I don't see her want to walk away from her, from her children. Uh, from what I'm seeing, you know, whatever jumped off on that day, because uh, according to the spirit, you know, something about the timeline or the events is off. Someone is trying to change the narrative for whatever reason. I don't know what to say, family. Let me see something real quick. I'm going to end this. And this time I mean it, okay? This time I mean it. I'm going to use this real quick, okay? Come see some clarity. Divine spirit, can you tell me where is the location of the show? What happened to Michelle? Where's the location? What happened to Michelle and where's the location? Oh, my goodness. Okay, remember we saw the argument, the fight card? This is two people, family. This is two people. Argument or fight is a strong factor. You know, all I can think of is her and her boyfriend, allegedly. Victim or vic victim or victim's family was familiar with the killer. Hmm. And you know what? When I think about it, we saw the stranger card. A lot of times that card can come out if someone thought they knew an individual. If you know what I mean. They thought they knew the person, but they didn't. Sometimes I would get the stranger, you know, from that perspective also. Just saying, okay? Victim 
or victim's family was familiar with the killer. And I'm not saying she's deceased. I, I pray she's not deceased. Okay. Witness may fear coming forward with valuable information. So somebody's seen something. Remember we saw someone knows but not talking? Spontaneous behavior or mental illness contribute to the crime. Additional evidence at the scene may be discovered. Killer has a history of committing crime. And let me say this real quick. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Social media will provide valuable clues. And let me say this real quick, family. How people do talk, okay? The streets do be talking. I don't know who Michelle lived with. Did she live with her boyfriend? Okay. They, they, you know, allegedly, I don't know. Um, all I know is someone's accusing somebody of some cheating, okay? That's all I know. And I did see the uh, message that said, um, seeing somebody new. Okay? So, um, as you see, it's, it's a lot going on. It's, it's, it's a lot going on here, all right? It's a, it's a lot going on as far as trying to pinpoint. But um, if she was staying with the boyfriend, I, I feel, I, I'm just sensing that. I feel like he knows more than what he's saying, okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he's involved, but I feel like he, I feel like he knows more than what he's saying. I'm trying to get an idea about location. I thought I grabbed the right deck, but I didn't. So I'm gonna get an idea about location. Where are you, Michelle? What happened to you and why? Where are you? What happened to you and why? Where are you, Michelle? What happened to you and why? Thank you. So there was some traveling involved. Look at that. That's a bridge. See that? It's a bridge and an overpass. So it was definitely some traveling involved, all right? We did see something about a shed. See that? I'm not saying she's in a shed now, okay? Somebody could have had her in a, at a particular location. It has her farm, barn, or shed. It has here... Uh, this could be the location. Not saying she's in water now. It has here water, lake, and river. And if there is a bridge, it could be water up under the bridge, okay? But anyway, it has here um, water, lake, and river. I'll let many of you connect the dots. Now, these could be some places that um, Michelle or an individual could have passed, okay? It has here industrial buildings. Warehouse, factory, manufacturing plants. These are some locations that Michelle or the suspect could have um, drove past, okay? It has here what happened. It has here jealousy, intimidation, insults, degrading, Degrader or something, financial abuse and lack of medical care. It has here another what happened. It has here. Oh Lord. 
allegedly disabled, mental health issues, illness, and sickness. It has here another what happened. Infidelity, lies, manipulation, control, and sadness. Now, I'm definitely resonating with this one. Okay, somebody? It has another what happened. Plan, premeditated, and we did, and we kept seeing the word planned, okay? Plan and premeditated, transportation, car, I'm sorry, death slash car, boat, plane, bus, etc. okay? So that's definitely with some traveling involved. Maybe not long distance, but traveling, period. By vehicle. And also a what happened. Torture, harassment, bully, and suicide. Divine Spirit, is there another where location? Of where Michelle could be. Is there another where location? Is there another where? Hold on. Is there another where location, Divine Spirit? Is there another where location? You give us an idea where she is. That's just another what happened. It doesn't have to be all the words. It can be one or two words, okay? Or, or that one key word. This says trafficking. This says addiction. I do believe addiction is playing the part. Hallucination, cognitively impaired. And that would be if, if she was drugged, okay? Okay, that's it. So as far as her location family, Either Michelle or the individual could have passed areas like this, or she can be somewhere like this, okay? Industrial buildings, warehouse, factory, manufacturing plants. According to the spirit, she's alone, okay? And then we have here water. She could be in water or water could be around, okay? Water, lake, or river. It could be a farm somewhere around. And sometimes the key words can be streets, okay? Is there a a, a street location somewhere that has the word farm in it. Farm, barn, and shed. And due to traveling, um, she crossed the bridge, okay? Or she could be under an overpass. All right, now I'm through with this reading. Um, I'm wishing this sister, uh, Michelle, um, I, I'm praying for her family. No matter what they saw here, remember, it's allegedly now. It's not facts, but I am there by the spirit. That's some truth. They did come out of my reading now. Let me just say that. But I, I'm praying for the family that your loved one will be found safe and unharmed. But the fact that I saw, you know, um, authorities turn a blind eye, you know, that can be, that can, that can pertain to some sort of cover up too. You know, maybe not really the authorities trying to cover things up, but just due to not making her case as, um, shall I say, uh, a, a priority, all right? Not pushing her case forward, you know. It looked like her case can be pushed to the back burner due to other cases that's going on with them. Sometimes they're lazy, to be honest with you, you know. Uh, some, you know, uh, put more, you know, their heart into the cases, and they really dig, dig until they, you know, find the answers. And some of them, you know, they turn a blind eye for whatever reason. But um, according to the spirit, the authorities are going to turn a blind eye to this um, case, okay? So I'm just praying that, you know, due to the fact that she's missing, it won't end up being a cold case. I, I, I would suggest her family just keep looking for her and keep your ears to the street because people do talk. And much love to you. And hopefully, you know, her so-called boyfriend is out there looking, um, doing his part as well. Because if he's not, you know, uh, you know, that needs to be looked at too. Peace and love to you all, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.
Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. 